And if you keep that in mind, privacy is for pedos. Fundamentally, no one else needs it. I've never actually come across anyone who's been doing any good. The only people I think need privacy are people who do bad things. Privacy is the space bad people need to do bad things in. If you live in a society where, yes, you can have an abortion, but you must do it openly and you cannot have any privacy, in the same way as legalising heroin will, you know, get rid of the drug dealers, um, privacy will have some really bad consequences, not just for democracy, but in a whole host of ways I don't think many people have bothered to think about yet. said, all right, well, here's a couple of quid begging, and uh, if I gave you 50, you know, would you come back to my place and would, would you have sex for 50 pounds? You know, tape recorders running, photographers hiding in a bush. And uh, she went, oh, yeah, all right. I didn't actually really want to help her, but I was driven primarily to write the best story I could. The best story I could was, here is the golden girl on the red carpet as her dad goes to pick up a golden, uh, golden globe. And he used to take his daughter with him. And she was really pretty. And uh, here she is with dreadlocks and covered in dirt, begging at a tube station, offering, you know, passers-by sex for in return for money and um, also a police officer had come across her and possibly should have helped her as well instead of ringing up the news of the world and getting paid for that.